have seen a lot of snow this winter, and as we're seeing this week, it is now starting to melt. A big question for some, though, what kind of flooding will all that melting snow create? Dan Santella tackled that question with Minnehaha and Lincoln County Emergency Managers in tonight's Eye on Kelloland. Before we know it, all this snow will melt away. Flooding isn't rare in southeastern South Dakota, and this spring could bring it once again. We do stand some higher chances of flooding simply because we have a thicker snowpack. The potential's there, like it always is kind of every year, but it may be a little higher this year. We do have an elevated uh, risk of, of flooding this spring, you know, with all of the snow that we've received in uh, January. Um, but, uh, you know, it's every year we have some level of flood threat or flooding here in the city. We are a river town, so that's kind of to be expected. Smith says the Big Sioux River is less likely to be a source. But most of the heavy snows have occurred south of I-90. So for the Big Sioux, you know, we believe uh, that's not going to be as big a threat. But we do have a lot of snow here within the city, uh, the Skunk Creek tributaries. Newer arrivals to the area may not know of the possibility. What we worry about is maybe some of the new people that have moved in, maybe a rental. Uh, we've had issues with that in the past where they just weren't aware of what the potential was and maybe dismissed it a little bit. A gradual thaw would be ideal. What we'd like to see is a nice gradual thaw, but if we get into the 70s for four or five days all of a sudden, um, you know, we could have some problems that way if it just thaws too quick. So. Hopefully we'll, we'll have the, uh, the right weather. If we end up with some storms, rain in particular would be an aggravating problem. Although the rain is nice in terms of snowfall, we don't want to see that on top of the thick snow. We'd like to see this melt slow and steady. So if we can get temperatures where it starts to thaw slowly and not all at one time, we'll be, we'll be fine. Timmerman recalls 2019 and an unfortunate possibility. With the amount of snow we have, the biggest hazard would be as if we get high temperatures real quick and a rain on this snow. We had this happen in 2019 and it caused flooding in areas where we've never had flooding before. In the meantime, there are steps you can take. If you've got lots of snow on your roof, get rid of that, clean your gutters out. If you can, snow blow around your, your yard maybe away from your house, get a path for that water to leave. Check your sump pump, maybe get a backup sump pump in place, start looking at the drainage in their yards uh, with their downspouts, things like that, to make sure when the snow does start melting in, in March, uh, that, that water can make its way off of their properties. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella.